All right, well, there's actually one more comment I just wanted to <clears throat> respond to briefly. Um, and again, I think this this guy is trying to um, to give context to what Chandler was saying and, and, and challenging me on, on sort of my arguments here. So I just figured I'd respond to it briefly. Um, and I probably won't respond to too many more of these, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, this guy, Musa Khan, 12 hours ago, he commented this. He says, just looking at your logic here, your argument isn't directly related to what Matt Chandler is saying in the clips you've shown. If you're going to address issues, please make sure you're showing clips that point to these issues. And here he at least goes through the trouble of explaining what he means. He says, the clip you've shown does not show Matt Chandler stating that everything that is coming to his mind is a word from the Lord, yet you keep saying that. Yeah, so he doesn't technically say that, but what he does say is what he wants you to do is pray to God for who to pray for. So I'm going to pray for Musa. And then whatever God puts on my heart at that point, I'm supposed to go to you, Musa, and say, I think God is telling you this, pirate ships, sharks, and cannons. Uh, and so that is, it may or may not be a word from the Lord, but he's telling you to come at him saying that this is what God put on your heart. Um, that is a third commandment violation because if God did not say that, if, if you're, you're thinking about pirate ships and cannons and sharks for some other reason, then that's a third commandment violation. That's what Matt Chandler is encouraging you to do. He's saying it's humble to do. It actually isn't humble. Saying that you think God might be saying something that he's not saying is not humble. It's actually very arrogant. So do not follow, I urge you, Musa, do not follow Chandler's advice here. That is super arrogant to speak for the Lord where God has not spoken. He also goes on, he goes, the, the clip, he does not say that God's word is not sufficient or that private revelations trump God's word, yet it, you assume that to be his position and your, um, and, and, and let me stop there. Um, yeah, I know he doesn't think he's saying that God's word is not sufficient, but he is saying that because if he says that if you want to live in the fullness of God's grace and the fullness of, of the spirit of God, you need to do this stuff, encourage one another with these private revelations that God gives you when you're praying. Um, so you can't, he's saying that it's, you're not living in the fullness of the spirit or, or the fullness of God's grace if you're not doing this. And so um, then that, that, I know he doesn't think that means that scripture is not sufficient, but that is what it means. Because if I were to just encourage you by scripture, Musa, uh, Matt Chandler would say, well, actually, I need to go a step further, pray for Musa, and then pirate ships, cannon, and sharks come to my mind, and I have to go and say that to you in humility. Once again, it's not humble to speak where the Lord has not spoken. It's very arrogant. Um, and he says, your argument at that point is, why not just use God's word to encourage people? That actually, I just said that. Um, and then he says, well, if that's the case, then why preach sermons? Why expound the Bible? Instead of preaching, why don't I just read the Bible out loud and call that a sermon? Um, if, you, if you can't see the difference between that between the two, Musa, then I I worry about you um, again being collateral damage of this kind of teaching. I think Matt Chandler is damaging people like you because if you can't see the difference between preaching a sermon where you exposit and expound upon holy scripture, which literally is God breathed, breathed, which literally is prophecy, words directly from God, and explaining that th those words. If you can't see the difference between that, which we all agree, that's prophecy, that's word from the Lord, and praying to God and then thinking about something, and if it's pirate ships or Star Wars or, or, or AR-15s, telling somebody that God might be saying this to you. Does that make sense to you? Uh, if you can't see the difference between the two, then I, I'm not really sure what to say to that because it is completely different. Because Musa, anyone can tell you anything and you have no idea whether it's a word from the Lord or not. You just don't. But you do know that the scripture is the word from God. So the preacher's job is to explain what that scripture is saying. Now, if the if the if the if the, if the preacher is not explaining what the scripture is saying properly, like the way Matt Chandler is in this in this uh, sermon, that's actually taking the Lord's name in vain. That's actually a very serious sin. And so every preacher needs to be very careful to explain the word of God correctly. When he doesn't, he's actually sinning. God cover Christ covers that sin. So we're that's why I have the guts to, to preach because uh, even though I try to take it very seriously I try to preach everything correctly and explain this the scriptures very correctly I know there are probably some points where I don't and I'm grateful for God's forgiveness But I am breaking the third commandment if I say something that's in is in the Bible or explain it in a way That's not actually true. And so um, why preach sermons? Why expound upon the Bible because the scripture commands us to the Holy Scripture, the Word of God, commands us to preach sermons. So that's why we do it. 
The Word of God does not command us to pray and say, okay, uh, give me a word for this brother, and then pirate ships come into your mind and go tell him that that's what God said, or that's what God may or may not have said. The Scripture doesn't command that, because that's actually a third commandment violation. The Scripture actually says, do not do that. The scripture doesn't say, don't try to discern whether it's really from God or not. Don't, it might be bad chicken, or, but don't worry about it. Just go with it. The scripture doesn't say that either. The scripture actually says the opposite of that. Discern with the spirits. And the test, of course, is the scripture itself, is the revelation that we are all confident in, the Bible. And so um, this is just another example of the collateral damage of this kind of teaching. We've got here Musa who's saying, why preach sermons? Why expound upon the Bible? Almost like putting, again, these prophecies on the same level of, of expositing the scriptures, the holy word of God. That's a real problem. And it's people like Matt Chandler that are to blame for uh, you know this kind of understanding. I hope this is helpful. God bless.